Hey, I'm Josh Katz. I'm a photographer, photo educator, and sponsored skateboarder. And I'm here with Adorama TV for a Create No Matter What Challenge in the streets of New York City, all about bokeh photography. Adorama has teamed up with Canon, Wacom, and other great brands to create a hefty prize package worth over $3,000. So if you're up to the task, head over to adorama.com slash create no matter what to submit your best bokeh photos and for more details. To me, create no matter what is all about embracing change and creatively persevering during difficult times. Oftentimes, experimentation and limitations lead to some of the best work you create in unsuspected ways. So I've got my talented skateboarder friend, George Poulos, I've got some speed lights and I've got these beautiful holiday lights to make this happen. Before we begin, a quick lesson on bokeh. Bokeh derives from the Japanese word for blur and is the effect of light when it's out of focus. You can do this with any lights from string lights in your bedroom to the lights from a city skyline. But the wider your lens's aperture, the better the bokeh. So I recommend using lenses that can shoot at f2.8 or below. I'm in manual mode. I brought my aperture down to f1.8 with this Canon Nifty 50, the 50 millimeter 1.8 and I'm gonna shoot some simple natural light portraits of George with all of these beautiful trees in the background. So the closer I get to George, the more extreme the bokeh will become. So if I get up really close like this, thank you George, got some extreme bokeh, and if I take a couple of steps back here, the bokeh becomes progressively more mild. Achieving bokeh is relatively easy. The challenge is actually making an interesting photo with a great subject. So I am actually gonna step up this shot and introduce some speed lights into the equation. So I've got my 600X speed lights and we're gonna set one up in front of him, one behind. And you don't need speed lights to get great bokeh, but if you wanna make your subject look wonderful, these never hurt. One speed light right here and I'm gonna have a bit of a rim light. Uh, the man is looking handsome. I'm starting off with some simple portraits. I always recommend goofing around with your models to get them more comfortable and smiling. We're now gonna mess around with a different lens. I've got my 200 millimeter f2.8 lens and this is always a ton of fun because it adds some compression to the shot. The longer the lens you have, the easier it is to get really dramatic bokeh. So this 200 millimeter f2.8 is a bokeh machine. If I stand in the exact same place that I was previously with this 200 millimeter, I now shoot the same photo and the bokeh looks so much more extreme because I can really fill the frame with, with the bokeh in the background. Notice how the added compression from a 200 millimeter makes for a gorgeous dramatic bokeh effect. Now, this is why I love my Canon telephoto and this right here is the most earnest photo I've ever taken. <laughs> now that we're all feeling good, it is time for some action shots. Now I'm lying on the ground because it makes George's kickflip look higher in the air and the portion of the floor I've lit up becomes a dramatic sliver amongst the shadows. I'm a big fan of this image and I'm a big fan of lying on the floor. Pretty hard to take a bad photo when your skateboarder is this good. I like this ollie shot. I like photographing strangers that pass through my beautiful lighting setups, especially with cute dogs. And when we got asked to leave by a security guard, it was quite friendly. Now onto the shot that I've been waiting for, taking this concept to the streets, literally. Quick PSA, photographing in the streets is dangerous, but as you can see from all of my confident pointing, I've practiced this routine many times, turning it into a safely coordinated effort. It also helps having my awesome crew watching each other's backs and a traffic cop that I convinced to help out. All right, as soon as it goes, let's run it. And these are my favorite shots that we got from today. I think we had a really fun, successful day of shooting. Now I wanna remind you that you can get excellent bokeh shots, whether you're outside or inside, so don't be afraid to get out there or stay in there and create no matter what. And remember to submit your shots on Adorama's website for a chance to win an incredible prize package. Thank you all so much for watching.